Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we'll be counting down 10 great jailbreak tweaks for iOS 8.4. Very quickly before we jump into this list, if you're interested in knowing the names, pricing, availability, and more about each and every single one of the tweaks that I'll be talking about in this video, go ahead and click on the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen and click on the first card that appears. It'll shoot you over to my website where you'll be able to easily view a list of everything that I'll be talking about starting right now. So let's jump into these tweaks, kicking it off at number 10 with Hide Newsstand. As this tweak's name so clearly implies, Hide Newsstand iOS 7.1.x does actually work with iOS 8, and it hides the newsstand icon from your home screen. Now, if you want to get the newsstand icon back, it's as easy as uninstalling this tweak after you've installed it. But if you're like me and you never use newsstand, I would highly recommend checking out this tweak. Moving on to number 9 on our list, we have Blord. As you know, as Apple introduced in iOS 7, you have a white styled keyboard and then a darker styled keyboard. Now, in many cases, the keyboard is always white, and if you're tired of seeing that, you can actually install this tweak right here called Blord, and it gives you that dark stylized keyboard look across iOS 8, no matter if you're in Safari, or Messages, or Twitter, or any other app on iOS 8, it's going to give you this stylized keyboard as darker versus lighter every single time. Now it's not a big tweak by any means, but if you want to change the look of your keyboard, you should definitely go ahead and give this one a try. At number 8, we've got Cobalia, and this is a tweak that replaces those contact circles in your app switcher with some useful toggles like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, do not disturb, and much much more. What's cool about this tweak is that you can actually configure, configure what toggles you want to show in the app switcher so if you're never going to use rotation lock, you can switch that one out with a different toggle that you're going to use. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I was personally never a fan of those contacts in the app switcher, so having the ability to replace those with some toggles that I'm actually going to use is a big plus for me. Now moving on to number 7 is a jailbreak tweak that many people have been begging Apple to include in stock iOS for years now. It's called Browser Changer and it allows you to select a different browser other than Safari and use it as a default. The most common example of this would probably be Chrome. If you use Chrome on your PC or Mac and you want that to sync with your iPhone, of course you can use the Chrome app, but if you click on a link in Tweetbot or Twitter or really any other application that you would be clicking on links, it's going to shoot you over to Safari every single time, which doesn't make sense considering that you installed a third party web browser for a reason. So with Browser Changer, you just head over to that preference panel, click on the default browser that you want to use all the time, and from there on out, you're set. Any link that you click on will automatically redirect you to, for example, Chrome, if that's what you set as the default browser. It works extremely well, and if you're a non-Safari user, this tweak is definitely essential. Moving down to number 6 on this list, we've got a tweak called Tiny Bar. This is a pretty cool tweak as it actually trims down the size of the notification banner and condenses it directly to the status bar. As you can see on screen right now, this is what a test notification looks like. There's a little button in the preference panel for Tiny Bar. And you can see it's not all the way down to, I guess, the main title portion of the app. It only goes directly in the status bar, which is pretty cool considering that even if it's a long notification, it can scroll through text and make it fit exclusively in the status bar. I have to give props to the developer of this tweak for implementing it so well. I actually saw this tweak a few years back and never made a video on it, but I felt it was necessary to include it in this list because it is an extremely solid tweak. If you've never tried Tiny Bar, I would highly recommend it. It's just awesome. Already moving to the halfway point on our list, jailbreak tweak number 5 is called Swipe Shift Carrot. This is pretty useful as when you're navigating through a field of text, this tweak allows you to just drag your finger along the text and actually navigate it just swiping with your finger. There's actually a feature similar to this in iOS 9 where you take two fingers and you put them on your screen and you can drag the cursor around. Well, this is basically the same concept, only you're using one finger instead of two. In the preference panel for swipe shift carrot, you've got an option to change the move style to continually drag where if you drag your finger it's going to keep moving throughout the text, or just do a step drag where every time you swipe your finger left or right, the cursor will move left or right simply by one character. 
There's also some other options to configure and I'm actually surprised at the amount of configurability that a free tweak like Swipe Shift Carrot has. This is one of those tweaks that I'll be leaving on my device for quite some time. Moving on over to number 4, we've got a newly released jailbreak tweak called Power Saver Mode that actually brings that cool low power mode from iOS 9 to any device running iOS 8. It works extremely well and I'll show you guys what the preference panel looks like right now. It's actually pretty cool because it's installed right under your cellular and personal hotspot cells. To enable it, just go ahead and tap that switch right there and you can even turn off or configure specifically what power saving options you want to have. Right now, there's nine different options that you have the choice to either enable or disable. So for example, if you wanted to save some battery, but not go as far as disabling background app refresh, you can go ahead and untoggle that switch. And although you'll still be saving battery on all these other eight options, background app refresh will still be enabled. This is something cool that you can't customize with the low power mode in iOS 9. While here you have full customization over everything that you want to tweak, iOS 9 just disables all of these things by default. It's a pretty cool tweak, fantastic idea, and I'm glad to have it on my device running iOS 8. Number three on our list is a jailbreak tweak that would probably by itself take 20 to 30 minutes to explain if I went over literally everything that you have the ability to customize with it. If you guessed Spring to Mize 3, then you were absolutely correct. This app gives you the ability to change everything from animations to control center to tweaking your dock to have five or more icons, notification center tweaks, removing labels from the pages on your home screen to make your icons have maybe more of a cleaner look. You can make the icons on your home screen larger or smaller depending on what your preference is. Now while there's all these options in Spring to Mice 3, I really only use one which seems quite silly considering everything that this tweak can do. The only thing I use it for right now is add to add a fifth icon in the dock. Any more than that just seems like too much, but five icons by default on an iPhone 6, or especially iPhone 6 Plus, just feels naturally to me. As I mentioned earlier, Spring to Mize contains hundreds upon hundreds of settings related to your iPhone. I simply use it for the five icon dock feature, and it works extremely well in that aspect. At number two on our list, we have one of my personal favorite jailbreak tweaks of all time and it's called Lock Glyph. This brings the Apple Pay finger scanning animation to the lock screen, and I have to say, it just looks great. The second I got my hands on this, it's been installed on my device ever since. It looks great, the animations are beautiful, and it even has the Apple, the Apple Pay like ding sound if you unlock your device. It sounds extremely cool. The tweak has been incredibly well maintained from when it very first came out to just a few days ago, the developer has been constantly updating it with new features, bug, fits, bug fixes, support for the latest version of iOS. It is just a fantastic tweak all around, and the best part is that it's available for free. If you haven't tried Lockwell already, I've said this many times throughout the video, but this is one of those tweaks that I just love on my device. And finally, moving on to my favorite jailbreak tweak right now for iOS 8.4. We've got OXO Legacy Edition. I could probably just stare at the animations in this tweak all day long. When you swipe up as if you're invoking Control Center, you're greeted by your app switcher, where you can swipe up on apps just like that and have them fill the screen by tapping them, or you can actually swipe up on them. You can scroll from left to right to view more or less apps that have been running in your app switcher, or if you swipe even more to the left, you can actually view your control center. It's a slim down view, but it does function 100% of the way. Swipe down and you'll see toggles like flashlight, calculator, camera, and more, and you can swipe back up to do things like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so on and so forth. If you just swipe one more time to the left, yet again, you'll be greeted by your media player. From here, you've got controls like rewind, fast forward, and of course, pause and play. And if you tap right here on that mini version of the album art, it'll actually put it on top of the control center view, just like that. This is another one of those Cydia tweaks that I could talk about for probably hours. It has so many cool features. As I mentioned earlier, the animations are unparalleled across Cydia. You're not gonna find many other tweaks on Cydia with the design quality that Oxo Legacy Edition has. Like I said, this is currently my favorite jailbreak tweak, not only for iOS 8.4, but iOS 8 in general, and it's just fantastic. I'm gonna cut my rambling short there. As I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, if you wanna know names and pricing and much more about all the tweaks that we covered today, 
Check out the link down below in the description or click on the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen and click on the first card that pops up there and you'll be able to see a nice list, like I said, of everything that we talked about. If you enjoyed this video, I would be more than happy if you hit that like button down below because these lists do take quite a bit of time to put together. And of course, if you want to see more content on future jailbreak tweaks and jailbreak coverage, hit that subscribe button down below and I would also really appreciate it. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys had a great day and I will talk to you in my next video.